What is up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be beating Elden Ring along with all of its Remembrance bosses while using only torches. Most people probably wouldn't think about using torches as a primary weapon, but they're actually not as bad as you might think. And there it is. There are only six different torches in Elden Ring, but they come with a decent amount of variety. You've got a couple status effects, a few different elemental damage types, and some unique passive effects that can be useful on every playthrough. As a lot of you may know, I often do these types of runs region locked, but you know what's a lot more fun? Being able to go anywhere you want with full freedom while accessing any content you want. And we can do that on this run thanks to the partner of today's video, NordVPN. Nord is a VPN service that allows you to connect to any of their over 5,800 servers worldwide. Some of you may have come across my channel and wondered what kind of videos I uploaded years ago. Well, unfortunately, some of them are blocked in certain regions due to music restrictions. You simply boot up NordVPN, connect to a region where my Dark Souls 2 SL1 All Bosses No Hit Run isn't blocked, and just like that, you get to watch one of the hardest runs in the best Souls game. This is just one of the many examples where you can use NordVPN to get more online freedom and access geoblocked content. Other examples, which are especially relevant to me living in Canada, include accessing different versions of Netflix, news articles that are blocked on certain social media platforms, and much more. Make sure you go to nordvpn.com slash Machino or click the link in the description below to get my exclusive deal of two years plus four extra months completely for free. It's also totally risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks again to NordVPN for partnering with us for today's video. But now, back to the run. <laughs> Torch only. We're just looking for strength, dex, and tankiness. Egg bond it is. All right, torch only. Oh, int for ghost flame. Yeah, no, actually, uh, yeah, there is the, the sentry torch as well, which is holy damage, which I didn't even know. Yeah, right. surely right card's going to be fun on this run, you guys. The sentry torch is probably... We're going to have to try it out on, on some of the undead enemies, see if it's actually decent. All right, our weapon acquired. Maybe. Now, it's AR actually isn't bad to start out the game. Yeah, we're going to go get the one in weeping. It's probably the first thing we do. You, you can't backstab with these, right? Yeah, no criticals. Not really the end of the world. We can put an Ash of War on this thing too, apparently, right? Yeah, maybe they're not Maybe they're not as bad as I'm expecting. I don't know. Every, every single weapon class so far has been not as bad as I thought it would be. And we get the knife. Go get the Faith tier as well. Not sure if we're going to need this for anything. You guys see... Uh, did you guys see the Hob spider fiasco? <laughs> that was so funny, dude. <laughs> and then it started crawling out. And then he like... Started screaming, and then his, his stream just ended immediately. It's pretty funny. This is some, like, optimized bingo pathing that I, I... I guess we'll go get this merchant that I remember practicing for some reason. It's the quickest way to get from that grace to the castle. You go to the right side of this wall and, like, jump around it and stuff. Oh! I totally forgot he would be here. Easy. I think we want to go around this way. Maybe that's it. Oh. How much poise damage is, is this deal in here? There we go. Okay, so this torch is just straight up stronger. And this one has fire breather. Seems pretty underwhelming. Oh, it leaves some fire in the ground, I guess. My flail run definitely was not region locked because now I remember we went and killed all the dragon barrow guys at the start. I guess I'll try to do the same thing on this. Let's go do that right now. For bow maybe, only. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Congratulations on the god run 3D. I'm very curious which Ash of Wars can go on a torch, man, because oh the only Ash of War you can put on torch is no skill, really. That's a shame. Yeah, we're gonna head into Kaled and then we're gonna kill Knight's Cavalry, kill Grail. I'm gonna get this because you never know if we're gonna use Fire Breather or not. Sorry, pal. Oh my god. And before the torches are actually like decent, dude. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the Grail cheese. I might mess it up. I've only done it once, but we're gonna we're gonna try to do the two in one with the foul foot. It should, it should be pretty easy to do, I would assume. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car. No thanks. I don't I don't remember exactly how this is supposed to work. I think we're supposed to trigger him and then just go behind the tree, right? Okay, and then I think he's supposed to keep walking until he gets in the circle. 
Probably good, so we're gonna re aggro him. Behind the tree? Did I mess up? Fly, please. It's actually wild how consistent it is, dude. How many ghosts? I think somebody told me if, if you were like optimal with all this stuff, you could kill Flying Grail, Knight's Cavalry, and then, you know, the Mama Grail all in one foot. And the start of every Elden Ring character, just <laughs> free, like 170k, 160k runes <laughs> at the start of the game. Okay, well, we're super rich. I think the next thing to do is to go get the bell bearings. Okay. G unlocked. So let's just, yeah, let's just get one of them upgraded and let's go kill uh, Crystallium. Let's get a plus five. Might as well collect some of these stones here. Save some of the money that my hard earned money that I collected. Cla Whoa. Classic guy falling on the elevator and dying, but I don't know how that other guy survived. Dude, look at this guy's blue eyes in the. <laughs> in front of the camera. Well, this is not a good test of how good a weapon is, but. Fire breathe. I wonder if the fire on the ground is going to stun lock him. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, dying to Crystallian. Oh, it doesn't even stun at all. What the hell is that? This is like the fool's idol, jeez. Except it's just R1 spam. Yeah, unsurprisingly, fire is not so good against a crystal. Any spooky games in the lineup? Uh, I, I forgot to get the beast torch. Like, what am I even doing, you guys? The torch run where I absolutely had to get the beast torch and I don't even get it for <laughs> where it's like extremely useful. He's Torch. Very good. The, the charge attack build, I think, with this will actually be decent. I'm going to kill this fucking bear. That's what I got. Whoops. These guys on a on a first playthrough, these guys are just an absolute menace, maybe, man. It's so maybe. funny. I'll give you the best nut ever. Give me those bones. Or not. Max Talisman. Okay. But yeah, like I was just saying, uh, Don Blade, I, I think you know, Master Run in this game is definitely on the table. Dude, so does the torch the torch actually deals good poise damage then, right? Like decent. Oh, 33, so it is pretty good. Okay. Uh, we gotta go to round table. We're gonna take a tiny break from this run. Okay, back to Elden Ring, you guys. Okay, so Beast Torch is smithing. Let's also go get the sentry torch while we're here. Sentry torch. How I dude, I never realized that this was holy damage. That's pretty interesting. We need 15 faith and 15 strength. It's pretty simple with the insane number of runes I have. We'll just upgrade all of them, dude. Okay. Let's just go 15 all here. Not ever. Go here. We're definitely going to want flame Gurmy strength. We're definitely going to want golden vow. 
Oh boy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, they they showed me up, dude. I came with my I came with my like fucking tiny torch and then they just blast me with their fucking mega torch vehicle. I'm going to take out my insecurities on this guy. My small torch insecurities. And it, it kind of poise breaks like a fucker, dude. Whatever that means. <laughs> God Run 3, one of my best game accomplishments. Yeah, yeah I guess so. But we'll get strength and, and uh, we'll get charge. We'll get strength, we'll get the fire tier. So th this should be respectable. Please stop being angry. Okay, so steel wire torch, best fire damage we've got. Let us see what it, this does. It's not bad. Not bad. See how much this does. Oh, come on, game. You can't do that to me. Not terrible, but not, not anything crazy considering the weakness to fire here. Like a plus zero catch flame would probably be better DPS than that. That's obviously without Golden Vow and all that stuff. Speaking of which, I, I would like to use the actual incantation Golden Vow, especially since some of these fights are going to last a bit longer. And having faith for Rikard will be nice with the regeneration. So we go with Rhea? Probably. Let's try out one of the other torches maybe, or let's try this one. <laughs> Idiot. Actually, we, have, we haven't like taken a good look at what these torches look like. Looks pretty nice. So that's the sentry one. This is the steel one. Looks hot, dude. Beast. Just a torch on a wooden stick. I think I think this one looks the coolest so far. And this one I like. I do kind of wish that the, the flame on this one was more golden. It, it looks like fire. I, it should look like a holy fire. Golden Vow. Also, should we go kill Redan first? I kind of feel like we should. Oh, I just hit 25. I kind of feel like 25 is overkill. Let's go like that. And then, yeah, I guess I, I can replace that if I need. The stars have aligned. Let's see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Well, not say that's bad. Well, now it's way worse because Flame Grimmage Knife for him. We may get a stun here, dude. Maybe. There it is. Obviously can't repost. Not bad, but not not crazy or anything. Guess we're not buffing for this next phase. It's fine. Weapon art is actually... I, I can't decide whether it's decent or not. Bye, sir. Yeah, so that, that damage is definitely subpar. Oh, yeah, we're going to go get the, fro uh, the Frost Torch now. Ghost Flame Torch. And this is an intelligence one, so yeah, we really got to go all quality on this build. It's an interesting lighting effect when both of them are, like, wielded at the same time. Like, the color on the wall. You guys see that? You know, we've got holy damage, we got fire damage, and we got magic. That's not a bad array of damage types, dude. We're just missing lightning. A blood flame torch would look pretty sick, I think. 
And it also, it, it would make a lot of sense. Okay, so let's get uh, 15 intelligence. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Very interesting that this is in the somber weapon. 12th. Yeah, let's go kill that avatar then. That's a good idea. With the magic. I just, I, I, obviously it's not optimal to use frost on this enemy, but I, I just want to try it. No, I haven't gotten fire scorpion charm yet. We only have one talisman slot right now, so. Yeah, howl would be pretty good. That's definitely true. I should have, I should go get it, I guess. I just want to see how long it takes to proc frost for this thing. Oh, it's not a good hitbox. I bet it doesn't have some, like, cool Ash of War. There it is. And then you immediately reset it <laughs> with the Steel Wire Torch. That was a big hit, though. Somehow I've managed to aggro one of these guys. Oh, boy. How did this happen? Oh, get fucking... <laughs> get baseball, dude. <laughs> what a great attack that is. Yeah, we should probably go get Howl. Just I don't like taking more damage, though. Well, if I can think of a, of, of a point where we're going to use it, then we can go get it. I guess let's go kill Margit now. Best let's try the Frost ever. here. I just I don't know how good Our it frost. is on some of these fights, man. Oh my god. How was I in that? No way. There's the frost. It's kind of the frost isn't really worth it at this point in the game. I do think eventually. What is going on here? I think eventually it'll be worth it. Where it'll come through on the later game fights where our damage starts to suck. But since we're plus 12 right now, we just out damage the frostbite. You better drip. That's a good point. What should we get? Also, what armor set should we wield or should we wear on this run? I guess we should go get this houseman anyways while we're here. So far, the maybe, torches are holding maybe. up fine. Yeah, for, for Rikard this time, we're going to be going in there. We're, we're going to have all the stuff that we need to kill him. I guess we can kill the fire prelate guy while we're here. See if the magic does work on him. Wait until his fiery head stops spewing fire. This guy, this whole guy is a torch, dude. Look at him. Not sure how well I remember his moveset, honestly. Can you be frostbitten? Oh. Oh, right at the end. Actually, we got his, his uh, legs, dude. Very resistant to frostbite, apparently. Okay, fire scorpion charm. Probably just go kill Godric, I think. Not sure what else to do. Of course, always take the main gate. Fire's like clearly the best option I have right now, so. I get, you know what? Let's go get Howl, dude. We might as well. Classic. Okay, we got Howl. A okay, 33 faith for that. God damn it, dude. 
We'll see how much more of this room we can get done in that amount of time, but... Okay, so now we can actually use Howl. We have to do a Talisman swap. See how this goes. Surely won't proc myself. And we'll switch this to the charge. <laughs> Run invalidated, dude. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Kind of worked out, though. Wow, you can roll out of that really quick. Maybe that's what's good about it. I'm, I'm really not trying to use that. Frostbite, maybe? Goodness. You know, I guess one thing we could do is go with the Sentry Torch to not reset the Frostbite. Oh, come on. You can walk in the fire. Yeah, there it is, dude. <laughs> Beautiful kill. But what I should probably do is go fight Morgoth and then get the Sleep Torch. That's probably That should be our first priority before we do anything. Because I was going to go kill Renala, but I kind of want the Sleep Torch by then. So we've killed our two uh, Great Rune bosses, so there's nothing stopping us from just going straight to Morgoth here. Let's go like that. Let's get some health, and we'll get a bit more intelligence, I think. Let's go. You know what? Let's go get the Royal Remains set and the Great Rune. Please don't aggro. Do we spare or kill Albus? How did? Why does this Ash of War not stun though? I'm sorry, Albus. Just kidding. Might not actually. I want like a right card lava kind of stun with this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, is this gonna? Did that actually hit me or not? I guess the benefit is that you can just roll out of this whenever you want to. Ah, oh, too bad. <laughs> hmm, it's interesting. There we go. Now we're looking pretty edgy, dude. Go kill that Draconic Sentinel. What I'm actually going to go do is I would like to get the Golden Epitaph here. Okay, well, I don't think this is going to go too badly. Just Howl's gonna make us take a lot of damage here, though. Guess I'll go with that. I'll try to get. What is this angle? Try to get some frost. Frostbite? Crossbite. There it is. Okay, he's getting melted, Hana. No pun there because we're not using fire damage right now. Oh, I didn't mean to roll. Three twenty-three. See, look at the damage with. I guess that's also probably the buff gone. Three twenty-three versus four eleven. There you go. No problem. So yeah, what we're doing right now is we're just rushing to get the sleep torch, basically. Hidden stream. Well, I'd probably rather just local locally record than do that. Uh, thanks, Fenjal. Done, maybe? It's done. Fire breather. I 
I couldn't roll out of that that time. Maybe it's, maybe it's like certain points in the animation. I don't know. Okay, let's buff in here so that they don't kill me. I'm not even going to bother trying to get Howl off. It's not going to happen. Oh, beautiful. The damage is certainly dropping off. Obviously, I didn't get all the buffs off here, but even with the buffs, this wouldn't be super impressive damage. Look at this guy. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> like... Oh, I cannot cancel out of that with a jump. Currently. There we go. Into, oh, whoops. Jump away, jump away. Jump away. <laughs> Certified no hit strategy. Okay, let's just we're just going even, dude. Should be fine. It's not like we have the best damage reduction ever, but at least we have golden vow. Time for Morgoth. Try to get a frostbite proc off. Because now at this point our damage is definitely dropping a tiny bit. Yeah, we can definitely get a stun. Oh, thanks for this one. That was such a weird angle. Oh. That's such a weird angle on that, uh... Kale spin he did. Fuck. <laughs> Look at this HP, dude. The regen's coming in clutch, though. Actual insane HP. Actually, I kind of, I'm going to go Beast Torch because I, I kind of like having the offhand R2, I think. That's what happens when you do that. Stunned. Alternating charge R2s. Image is definitely not super impressive here. Right in the anus. Uh, the fire attacks don't affect the frost buildup, but they do reset it once it's proc, though. Yeah, this certainly isn't the best build I've ever uh, <laughs> I've ever used. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta use the bad builds so that you can appreciate the good ones, dude. I'm making up for the god run three by taking every single hit in this run. Okay, so now all we gotta do is go kill Commander Nyal and we can go get the sleep torch, dude. We can get the somber seven here. Beautiful. An issue is that you kind of need to, to not get scored on to win. I'm not sure if I should try this skip or not, just like waste time. I got it second try yesterday somehow. Oh, insane, dude. So surely you can't have, you can't be two for three and it'd be pure luck. It's 19 plus 19 and plus nine. All right, so now the arsenal is looking decent. Quite a few more upgrades. Like it's six, it's almost six o'clock. We might have time if I if I did the skip and got it first try, we'd have time to kill O'Neal, but I'm gonna try the skip. I'm probably gonna die though. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think the last two times I actually got a first try, but I don't really have a good setup for this skip. There we go. And you know what? I'm confident. I'm not getting this grace, dude. I don't need it. It's really not famous for last words. Frostbite's probably not going to be so good here. I think we can probably get away with using Holy, though. So let's go like, maybe, maybe like that. I'll rebuff with Howl once we actually start fighting the boss. Oh. oh. Good thing I didn't get caught in that. Come on, game. How does that whiff him? That was like Matrix dodges until I got unlucky. Now he's got the defense buff and he's got the attack buff. Why does it not stun him, though? Oh, what a strafe, dude. Okay, Howell, maybe? Is this frost resistance really low, actually? Almost 1k damage. Oh, baby, that's a fuck ton of damage, dude. What do I get for using Howl? Uh, my, the Sleep Torch does nothing. There's no damage at all. If there's going to be any time to use Fire Breather, it's here. I guess because the buffs were out now, so all my damage is, like, significantly worse. Be stunned somewhere. You have to. That's what I thought. Why did I try that, dude? <laughs> Why did I try that? And see, of course, the one time I don't get the grace, I actually die. Well, maybe I'll hit this skip again. Nope. I breathe your weapon out. It's good against clones. Are you sure? Didn't seem so good. I probably die here. Oh, just kidding. Really, a perma stagger maybe, them. Maybe. Okay, maybe the I'll best try it. Not ever. Surely not bait to get me killed again. Oh. Well, it stunned them for a second. But that's about what I expected to happen. Why do they not get stunned by my other attacks, though? Like, can I just run away and then... Okay, let me try this here. You fucker, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking ganked here. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, stop. It actually is good on them. That's so weird. Somehow my basic attacks don't stun... Come on, man. Now we win. I'm just going to put that torch away so that I don't get tempted to use it on the boss because we know it's going to happen if I try it. See if we can get a frostbite, though. Maybe. Why would you do this? Oh, what a garbage attack. Wait, did I just proc him? I did. Okay, now we're clapping him, dude. Getting destroyed. Oh, come on. We need to try to reapply Frost here. Frost. There it is. That was so that was not worth it, but <laughs> it's done, asshole. Okay. It's not you know, the torches aren't bad if I just don't be an idiot. A simple solution. Okay, probably a good place to leave off for today. Torches are a lot better than you first thought they'd be.
You know, they're actually, I think, exactly as I thought. It's the first time ever where my prediction on a weapon quality is actually correct so far. All right, welcome back, you guys. We just killed Commander O'Neill, I believe, and we're going down to get the Sleep Torch is what we're doing. Surely this won't be that annoying to pick this up, right? <laughs> Dude, he's like, he's more upset than angry. Is this the right one? This is the Sleep Torch, right? Shit. Okay, I think this caravan is somewhere over here. I think I think the issue is that it's moving. They get moved. Give me your chest. Oh, there it is. I think I was just too slow. It should be good. There we go. Sleep port or Saint Trina's torch. It was a pain in the ass, but I got it. Let's go upgrade it, I guess, first. I can't remember. I would assume it's a somber weapon, but... It is somber. All right, plus nine, dude. I think that we should go do Ranala. What is this? I was gonna say, I guess the scholars do not sleep as they're up all night studying, dude. What if we can sleep? Well, like, like we can sleep the dog here, but I wonder how quickly it would happen. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if we can get a sleep off here. I didn't buff or anything. Whoops. Forgot what game I was playing. I think the boss is going to die before sleep happens. Come on, boss. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, we've just been going full even stats here so far. I, you know, maybe I should get a little bit more health because I'm I'm thinking about Rykard. I'm like, okay, we're going to need health for Rykard. You can use Holy on Ranala. Yeah, Sentry Torch is probably actually like the best play. Some of them were just kind of okay. Most of them were just okay, I would say. I'm going to try to sleep him. Does this like really not do a lot of sleep buildup or what? Oh. I was not expecting that. Oh, come on. Why does he do so much damage, dude? Literally, like, actual setup parry, dude. How is he so good? Doesn't even make sense. Okay. I wonder what happens when you sleep Renala when she's just, like, on the ground. Or if that's even possible. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go Frost and then... Sentry Torch, I think. Although, yeah, probably the best way would actually be to just go... Sentry Torch the whole time. Because Holy is, is actually probably the best thing I have here. How did you still get that off? Oh! I guess we have a lot of buffs or something, because that's a lot of damage. Jesus. Can you sleep her in this face? Or, or just blast her? That's a surprising amount of damage. Oh my god, it's like a legitimately decent weapon. Oh, you bastard. That's, I mean, I guess we're plus nine and we had Howl and we had Golden Vow. That's still not bad at all. I guess it's fire giant time. Go from here. Our character looks so cool on this, man. Like the different torches plus this armor set. So Frost isn't 
great against Fire Giant, but it works, so better than nothing. Plus, it's our magic damage. I do want to try the sleep at first, though, just to see how fast he sleeps. Come on, bro. I don't think the sleep is worth it here, probably. All right, back to reality with our damage output. Does this deal like no fucking sleep build up or what? Oops. I got him, I slept you bro. Oh, but yeah, I just, I hit him again, I guess. Hey, that's actually not bad. Frost maybe somewhere? Well, it's pretty bad, actually. We do have a charge R2 build right now, so that's why. Frost maybe? Oh, how did we not get a frost in there? Oh boy. Bro, I, I really do not like going in on that attack. I don't think it's a good idea. No, I didn't proc my transition. That was just his normal damage he takes there. The torch's um voice damage actually is not bad. Because I maybe. Where's my frostbite? <laughs> it should be coming. Please, you have to proc. He's gonna die before the frog happens. Oh, and there it is on the last hit, of course, dude. As as always. As always, the proc comes on the hit where it doesn't even matter. Literally just happens 100% of the time. Anyways, pretty weak, unsurprisingly, for this fight. That's expected. Okay, so now I'm not so hopeful for Godskin Duo because that Ash of War does not build up a lot of sleep, apparently. 35. I'm fine with 35 health. Bigger. What I what I actually did yesterday though, you guys, I made a <clears throat> I made a spreadsheet of like all the categories I could think of for rating a Souls game. So many people have asked me about that sort of thing, like, oh, what's your favorite Souls game? What's your least favorite Souls game? Now I've got it in a spreadsheet. Okay, time to fight Godskin. But yeah, I'll show you guys the spreadsheet like eventually. I may maybe I shouldn't use Howl here, you guys. I don't think I will. Yeah, there's a ton of preparation as you can imagine. Just oh boy. Oops, it's meant to be a jump attack. We go from the great bosses of Liza P to this. Do we can get some sleep going? Uh, what do I do now, <laughs> exactly? Oh yeah, I can't repost. What a frostbite. This is pretty good. Like, because we can sleep him. It's got the built-in sleep. Voice damage on these torches aren't bad.
Holy shit, dude. Look at this, man. Torches are insane. Oh, what do you think you're doing, dude? I guess I should have rebuffed, actually, is what I should have done. Cross, maybe? No. Okay, back to sleep. That's such bad timing. <laughs> I don't know why. I shouldn't have done that. Also, why do you do that and now go into... Okay, but wait a second. Aha! What do you think you're doing, dude? What a great attack. Oh my god, it's crazy good. Frost? Wow, <laughs> that's good, man. This is definitely uh, the best Godskin duo we've seen so far. But like, obviously, I guess, right? Because we got the sleep, but dang. Beautiful. The sleep actually worked better than I thought there. Because I thought I was just, like I said earlier, I thought I was just going to keep waking him up. But yeah, it worked perfectly. All right, which torch? I guess we use probably... Okay, so in terms of fire damage, how does this compare? So we're at 488 AR versus this one. I mean, dude, the sleep torch, I guess we're... Plus 19 versus plus 9, I guess. That's probably why. So I guess we're going to go with this one. Oh, I guess I should have been This is really concerning. Wow. You fucker. Okay, good thing we got out of there. Very solid damage. I mean, 1500 damage on a torch. Obviously, we're dealing fire damage here, but. Just like that. <laughs> I guess the thing with these torches is that, so, you know, they seem to be really good on some things and then really bad on others, but. So far, I think just Fire Giant and maybe Morgoth is where I think they've been the worst. Plus 24. Okay, which one? I, I guess plus 25, probably this one. I think this is just the... Or wait, maybe the magic one. I'm going to go with the magic one for now. We're going to get more of those ancient stones anyways. And let's continue through Farm Azula, I guess. This is a fun run so far, man. Like The, the look of these torches is it's, it looks really nice. Oh, time to run through the bird section. I guess I could pull him. Could used fire though. I have classic souls lock on. I'm gonna die. I'm fine. No, Beast Torch doesn't work on birds. I forgot how early those attacks hit. I forgot how late that goes. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm just. I blame Liza P for all my hits I just took. Oh, shit. Oh, and he left. So stupid. All that work, and I don't even get the ancient stone. 
Where's the other ancient smithing here? It's not... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that one. So let's go back here. Yeah, let's get this one. Please don't blast me, man. Oh, he doesn't even do a lot of damage. What the hell? I thought that guy did like a fuck ton of damage, dude. Wait, can you jump? Oh. I didn't know you could jump back onto this thing. Easy save. Easy. That's probably good enough for now. Let's go upgrade. Okay, so let's definitely get the... Yeah, definitely get the sleep torch. I mean, probably... The, I, there's not really much of a point in upgrading the beast torch at this point. So, like, maybe we're just good. Because we got plus 25, plus 10, plus 9. I would like to get this to plus 10. Can you, can you sleep, Malketh? I don't believe I've tried. What am I using Howl about this fucking guy? Is hunting me down. Frost? You have to. There it is. I mean, that's not the worst I've seen. Not great, but... Not the worst. Uh Please don't do this. Oh, of course you do it. Faster. You'll be able to stun him very easily with this thing. Good point. Like, this actually has a pretty decent R2. Surprisingly enough. Right through the legs. Worst fries bite on the kill, as usual. To kill what? Yeah, the the, the poise damage. I, I I believe they do 33 poise damage on a charge R2, uh, which is you know it's basically the same as straight swords, but R2 is relatively fast, so it ends up poise breaking stuff, man. Yeah, I do think that this is probably the first weapon that I've ever accurately assessed how good they would be before I did the run. Um, in terms of damage types on, on Plast Deus Ex, though, is, is Holy bad on him? I, I think so, right? I'm going to go with 40. We can proc Frost on him, though, too. So we'll go we'll go Sentry Torch plus Ghost Flame. That sounds about right. Yeah, this is this is going to be weak here. There's, there's no question. The problem with using buffs like this on this boss is... By the time you run to the boss, your buff's already halfway gone. Yeah, we should be able to poise break him very quickly here, so... He's got... I think he's got 150 poise. Five charger twos. I'm gonna try to get a second one off there. So that's three. That's four. Five. Oh, we're making these things look good, dude. We're making them look good. Still pretty weak, though. Okay, like, <laughs> for headshots like that, but... We should get another stun. Eventually. Oh... Too bad we can't repost him, though. Wow, no frost yet. Actually insane. Lightning Spear Nuke Attack. When I got hit by it in the, uh... Randomizer All Bosses run... Because I was in, like, a tiny arena with him... I thought it was gonna one-shot me, dude. And it, it basically did no damage at all. Will I proc him with frost?
There it is. Good timing on the stun, too, right before he's about to do the big nuke or the big lightning thing. You know what? I, I kind of feel like this build has been better than some of the others I've used on this fight. Just we've been getting a lot of stuns, so it makes it look better. We're likely going to get another one. There it is. Easily. No problem, dude. We could go do Millennia and Moog now. Wow, we're like, we're kind of nearly done, I guess, right? We got Estelle, though. If we're going to do all Remembrances, we still got Moose and Estelle and all that. So, you know what? Maybe we'll go down there first. Go to Nokron. What do I give my Mimic? It's the question. Do I give him? I'm going to give him these two. Get the status fight going. Okay, here we go. The fight of the Torch Maniacs. Pyromaniacs. And this guy's intimidating as hell. Haha, you can't repost me. <laughs> oh my god, I almost got slept already. I slept you. Oh shit. Going with the frost build now. Hey, you can't bring a Kukri to a torch fight. Not allowed. Yeah, that's what you get. Cheater. This is probably, like, in PvP, if somebody somebody knew what they were doing with the torch, it'd probably be so annoying to fight against that. So we're going to fight the moose. Um, fire should be good on him, at least, right? Also, holy would be good there, too. So, is fire as good as holy on moose, or no? We're, we're, we'll use holy, because I feel like we need to use holy more. Sentry torch it is. Also, I mean, it's just our highest damage torch, so... I really wish they changed how the sentry torch looks, man. Because I, I honestly did not know it was holy until this run. They should have made it more golden, dude. Right? Because it, it just looks like fire. Sixteen hundred, not bad. We also don't have the faith tier in, so I mean, or the holy tier. Oh damn it! I wanted to space it well so I could get the shot in. We have a problem, and it's that we cannot hit the fucking boss. Here we go, 1900 headshot, that's without Howl. Thank it. Yep, that's what I thought. Goodbye. Maybe I'll keep that. <laughs> Maybe. We might do some debuffing at some point. Winged Greathorn. All right, back underground. We'll go kill Gargs. Um, in terms of Gargoyles, I guess magic is probably the play. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how. Like, I, I don't know if it's a mistake or if or what the hell happened, but... So this damage shouldn't be bad, but it probably won't be great. Oh, that's not bad. Slightly higher than I thought. Maybe we can get a stun here. He's done. He should stun. Yep. Oh, baby. Oh, easily. 
<laughs> wow. Take short work of the guards, dude. Oh, why is your head in the ground, dude? Ah, oh, I would have been able to kill him easily there. <laughs> Ostrich defense. That's really funny, actually. True. Dang, man. Not bad at all. I guess that, that's what happens when you when you got strike damage on this boss. Very nice kill right there, dude. Perfect kill. I'm liking this torch build. It's pretty fun, dude. I guess it, it's not... I don't know. It's, just, it's fun to use torches and them actually be viable. I kind of forgot about Fia's champions, dude. I mean, we've got the sleep, but like, maybe it won't be too bad. Yeah, Fia's only fan subscribers, dude. They're probably going to die before they get slept, honestly. The, our damage is, is high enough. Just go in and blast them. We could try using Fire Breather. Yeah, see, our damage is like just way too high for them to actually... Okay. Yeah, Fire Breather might be good. Oh, they're weak to Lightning. That's right. Yeah, the only only damage elemental type we don't have. Come on, bro. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. ouch. That hurt. It's too bad it doesn't, like, stun them or something, though. Can't really roll it, at least. Oh, boy. I probably would have done a lot of damage. Oh, that fire on the ground as well. The tick. Actually, a pretty cool setup for this fight, man. It's not good, but... Oh, boy. Fine. Oh, I guess the, the fire... I don't really understand how the fire on the ground works. Do I have to, like, aim at the ground or something? Oh. I didn't actually realize that. Look, a few ticks on the ground there. It poked. What's good on Estelle? You got a fire, holy, and magic. What's the best? Oh, they're all the same. We'll probably just use Sentry Torch then. My first out. too terrible. It should get a stun. Not terrible at all. Other one? Uh, Rico, thanks so much for the uh, two-month reset, dude. Oops, I, I rolled that first one like, way too fucking early. Also, not fast rolling doesn't help for that. No, you don't. <laughs> I meant to do fire breather, but see ya. Stell down. I guess we'll go do four to sacks now. I'm gonna do the quest line. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use, I guess, holy here, right? We should be dealing a good amount of damage here. It's so nice that we have this holy option. I mean, look at this damage, dude. And you're gonna get stunned and you're dead. 
scorchers are no joke. Not much worse than kind of an average weapon. Mm. Alright, back underground we go. In my build. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go fight this Tibia Mariner, I think, right now. And make videos on live speed. I'm not sure. I, I might do a no hit run at some point, and if I do, then yes, but the parries are way more precise. So if you're trying to do it, especially on those unblockable, unrollable attacks, it's like, man, I just can't get it. But that's that's a, like all part of the game, right? Like it's a challenge. You got to figure out the timing and you got to do it. Like, it takes a good amount of time to learn this, learn the timing on an attack or on a combo. And then, and then, yeah, that's it. Once you figure it out, then you're good to go. Oh, what the hell? Why was I taking damage from that? Is that because I have Golden Epitaph going? How much damage do we deal? Oh. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That should be our first death route. So we're going to collect a few. I believe you need three. I might be mistaken, but I thought it was three for... Uh, Bestial Vitality, which I would like to use on Rikard. Yeah, I think the, the biggest issue I have with the game is what I've been saying, is that the areas, the actual contents of the areas, I think the level design is decent. I think the levels are pretty decent, but when it comes to the contents of the levels, I think it's it's quite a few steps down from Souls games, you know? Like, I, I don't know what, there's something missing. Whereas, you know, when I go through, when I go through a level like this, like even just this area, right? There's, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. I, I don't know. It, it, like some of this clutter actually does add a lot, I think. But if this was Liza P, it would kind of just be nothing in here, you know? That's that's by far the biggest issue I have with the game. It's sort of a meme in DS3 how many like breakable boxes and shit there are, but from Bloodborne onwards, they started doing a really good job of that, I would say. Okay, we got it, finally. It doesn't do a good job teaching you how to choose between parry and dodge. I, I guess that's true, yeah. Like, I guess the thing is, there's not really a right way to do it, except for on those, like, undodgeable attacks. What's the best here, magic? All that to whiff the boss and take a hit. How do I fight this boss? Why did this boss have to have a remembrance, dude? Still, it, it still makes no sense that you can jump over that attack. Literally makes zero sense. At least the weapon's so short, it makes it kind of easy to get headshots. But oh my god, dude! Easy to get headshots, hard to actually hit though. Oh my god, how does this keep happening? Frostbite on the final hit again. How? Okay, four sacks down. Now, I guess the only bosses that remain are Rikard and then the final bosses, right? Hey, oh, sorry. Snowfield. That's what I'm forgetting about. Yeah, I, I don't care for Souls lore because... I mean, even the little that I do know about the lore, it doesn't seem interesting to me in, in a game like Dark Souls or... You know, Dark Souls 3 or something. And then also, I think part of it also too is that the actual like worlds of these games do not feel alive in any way. Like, so even though the bosses are like, they're doing all this stuff and there's a lot of lore for the bosses, they're still kind of just sitting in an arena waiting for you to go kill them. Like everybody's just sitting still and then you're just going through it. You're just killing stuff. 
Honestly, probably out of any boss in any Souls game, I feel like Gideon has the most interesting, like, development and lore with him, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Out of everything in the Souls game, because it's like, at least there's something there where, you know, he's, like, kind of helping you along the way, and then he turns on you, and then, like, that's cool. Ishin is, yeah, Ishin is kind of like that, too. Yeah, that's true. I think Sekiro does a better job at that, in my opinion. Uh, what am I, I guess we're just using magic on Moog here, right? Garman has that, that's true. But yeah, I guess that's the main thing, right? I just, I don't like going through the game and then just, it's a random boss. Like, right here. Like, Moog's super cool, and, and his actual, like, lore... I guess it's, it's interesting if you look into it. If you, like, go way out of your way to start looking into it, but... I mean, most people, realistically, are just watching some Vati video. Um, I guess, like, there's a bit of dialogue. But ultimately, if you're if you're the player and you're just playing through the game, you get to this boss and it's like, oh, here's another boss. Wow, the damage is kind of good. The poise damage is, is doing so much work here. I think roll attack's probably fast enough. Is that frostbite? Oh boy. Oh. I didn't mean to do that other hit there. Oh, the poise breaking machine, dude. And it's really good for getting those headshots again. I wonder if a roll attack is fast enough here. I gotta try it. I did the slower attack. Oh, yeah. But anyways, yeah, when it when it comes to the ratings I gave them, I thought he was doing the other one there. I weighted stuff like that very low. My damage has dropped off so much here. Done, maybe? Fine. I thought he was gonna die there, that's why I didn't roll. As clear as day. More Oak is a really fun fight, man. And his arena is insane. All right, Moog down. Let's go do Millennia. I've played New Vegas, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm definitely not as much of a fan of the Fallout games, but out of all of them, New Vegas is definitely my favorite one. I just like the themes in Elder Scrolls more. What should we use on Loretta here? Holy is actually good here. Holy it is. Oh, you gotta be joking, dude. How do you not stun? Don't jump. The poise, like, the poise damage is good on these things. It'd be interesting to actually see a, a poise damage per second. Like, values on some of this stuff. Just destroy, dude. Is this the helmet that gives you... Yeah, it gives you two faith. 50 vigor. So on Millennia, I guess Frost is, is good and like just Frost and Fire, I think. I don't think this torch is going to be any good. We could try Sleep as well. Save 1,800 runes on the Lantern. Actually true. That's a good point. You know, I probably should have given myself one Flask here. I could Golden Vow Phase 2. I don't remember that we're... 
mid rolling here. I like mid rolling on this boss so much. Oh, yeah, I should maybe not mid roll, because that's what happens. And yeah, it's kind of an issue because the, the torch doesn't have that much range, so I got to get like really in close to actually connect. Just keeps blocking it. I might have to take off my armor here because have we not gotten a stun also kind of a scam she keeps eating it probably is why oh that doesn't oh my god the torch doesn't even interrupt her somehow Clearly, we'll sleep one day. <laughs> like, maybe I proc the sleep and it just... Oh, why did I do this? That's an R2 as well. Oh. I slept, idiot. A okay, frost proc would be wasted here, so... I guess a full charge does. Yeah, she's not getting poise broken because she just eats the poise breaks when she does her hyper armor. She's a cheater. Whoa. Frosted. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the frost. Well, well, I guess I can't switch to a fire. Kind of some of the problem, I guess. And just switch to a fire torch because then I, I reset the frostbite. That's that's why like having the holy is actually interesting because we can proc frost and then go into holy damage and not like get the uh, the bonus of the frostbite damage. I believe we got another frost before this fight ends here. I'm just taking every hit imaginable. Here we go. Waterfowl for the road. Your strength. Yeah, not great. Definitely. Extraordinary. It's insane how much sleep sleep pots do, man. It's actually it's so kind of so imbalanced. Ah, uh, I guess it's time for Rikard. All right, we got some preparation to do first. For an hour or so without having to stream. We can kill this guy, I guess. Hey, there's no way you didn't fall off, man. <laughs> like, what are you standing on, dude? I guess I should just go back. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get the Icon Shield. Oh, yeah, we could go with the Great Rune. Yeah, that's... I forgot about that. I guess I used it last time, didn't I? Do these still fire? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm running the opposite direction, so maybe I'll be safe. I, I actually don't know how these track you. Okay, so they still track you pretty well, I guess. Man, that is from so far away. Oh my god. Woodfolk ruins. Anyways, I think I think our healing situation is fine. I've I've focused on collecting oops. A lot more heals this time around. Yeah, we could get the HP regeneration. Is that that's from this guy, right? Unsurprisingly, we're dealing a lot of damage. This is the regeneration tier, right? Bubble plus Crimson Breath. Okay. 
Let's go here really fast. We're gonna go get a uh, sacred order. Yeah, I'm not sure what I should do for poise yet. Wait, is that my character's eyes? And that looks really weird. Okay, so this should deal a lot of damage. Oh, just wasted that. We can't actually stack golden bow with this other thing we're about to use. So we use this. Up to this. Oh wait, does it not work anymore? Oh, is it patched? Or did I do it wrong? Oh, maybe it was patched. I didn't. I didn't think it was. But... Still a lot of damage. Yeah, maybe it was patched. Huh. It was patched. I, I somehow completely missed when that happened. <laughs> anyway, still a lot of damage. Um, I guess we'll use sleep here. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, where, where's the iron jar crafting? Which location is that in? Oh, I wonder if the breath is good here. Because we can't backstab or anything. Well... When the boss dies that fast. Doesn't matter. Oh, the side tomb. Oh, okay. I think that's enough for Beast of Vitality, right? There we go. But this is the, the most efficient regen. It's not the fastest per tick, but very efficient. Okay, let me test this out really quick, I guess. Um, I guess I'll just take damage from this guy. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it stacks. We just take some damage. Play, don't die. Okay, 374. So we are getting, I guess, seven per tick, right? Now, if I do this, let's see. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right, actually. Oh, dude, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, you're right. Okay, good call. But yeah, this is still useful, anyways, because the fight's going to last pretty long. We can go with Millennia's Great Rune. Let's go with that. Now, now the issue is poise. So we need enough poise that we don't get staggered every single tick by Rikard's Lava. In the past, I've tried to use, you know, Endure, but it just, it doesn't last long enough. Do I go with the, the Bull Goat? Like, would I have enough with that? I'm gonna get Iron Jar. How long does Iron Jar last for, though? Right, there we go. Or, or wait, where do you get the Commander, like, the Commander set? Is that after, can I just buy this right now? That'd be definitely the fastest here. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is this has got really good poise for weight. Yeah, even just a few pieces of that probably is enough. B7. Okay. So we are heavy loaded here though. Like we need a lot of endurance to not mid-roll here. We could do the great jar, it's just it's so far away. Actually, you know what? It's not that far. I already have underground. Okay, we're almost ready to go, man. Anybody who's seen the flail run or the flail video. I don't know how bad it looked in the video, but it was pretty bad. I spent like two hours fighting Reichardt and dying. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna need to manage our equip load. Unfortunate. You can do it, buddy. It's having such a hard time. There we go. Come on, let's roll or jump or something. There we go. This is what I think is pretty fun about Elden Ring, though. Like, as much as I don't like the Reichard fight, having to prepare and do all this extra stuff to fight a boss, it's very, um... Like, it's something that exists in the other Souls games a little bit, but not in the same way. What's happening here? I feel like if I jump, I'm just gonna get, like, poked off the edge or something. Are you serious? Finally. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe there's a better way to do this, though. Like, a better setup. Here we go. Better that time. Great Jar's Arsenal. So we're still heavy load, but we're much closer to being good. But yeah, we also have to keep in mind, I'm going to be wielding Icon Shield, which is heavy. You know, maybe I don't need the Icon Shield, though. Also going to get a couple extra runes from Godskin Noble. Please be enough. We're still in heavy load, but I wish they showed you the percentage in this game. Well, for now, let's go kill Noble. Be sure. We could also respec, right? No reason why I can't respec. Also, we can go kill Gideon. We can go do all that stuff. Kill. Maybe that's what I should do. Get even more endurance that way. I did see that B-Money dude, yeah. I didn't actually, like, watch it, but... I saw that it happened. Voice break. How much does that running R2 do, I wonder?
God tier torch build. Easy. All right, so that's, is that an extra level? It's not quite. Um, Let's go kill Gideon in those final bosses. Okay, this, I, I don't know how this is gonna go. That's kind of interesting. Get my health back. You bastard. I forgot how long that lasted. That's really stupid. Okay, I got regen. It's not the end of the world. I forgot about that. Blasted idiot. Bones. Uh, Gideon during fist only was probably as you'd expect. The worst fight of all time. Okay, all endurance again. So it's going to be like, what, three levels here? Two. A lot of people just don't really care about Gideon because, you know, when they, when they do runs, they he's just not even a, a thought, you know? You just don't think about him. with that one, I guess. Wait, why do I have Sentry Torch main hand? Yeah, I don't think anybody likes Gideon, but a lot of people just don't really care about him. The Frost. Mid-roll. Classic mid-roll, dude. Are we gonna proc him again here? There it is. Brave. Tarnish. Goodbye. That might be enough. We'll see. I think it's enough so let's see so we're gonna be going with this 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 we're still good full goat plus great jar icon shield i think we're easily good here we go so now we're not gonna be fat rolling which is pretty important or uh, having the reduced stamina regen is really annoying on right card so man this looks like a really just like toxic pvp build is what this looks like man but yeah so phase one we'll just play it we'll play it nice and slow phase one not waste any of our resources. Elden Ring OST is amazing. Are you saying that based on what you're hearing right now or just based on your experience with the game? Because this is not Elden Ring OST. That is, that is another thing this game was missing. A good soundtrack. And yeah, the, the, the boss, yeah, the boss themes are decent for sure, but I, I guess I more mean ambient. But even then, the boss themes, they're, they're decent, but they get old because you're just, you know, if you're fighting boss over and over and over and over again. I only hear the same song so many times. Yeah, that's why I don't play these games with... Oh, that is so bad. I guess I could go with Ritual Sword in this phase. And, and maybe we just go Frost, too. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I guess I didn't buff or anything. I didn't try to save my FP, though. Okay, we should get some decent stuns. 
First frostbite. Another frostbite. If only you could fight phase two in a similar way to this, man. Oh, does the frost reset in phase two? Really? The status resets phase two? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we should be able to beat this pretty easily here, man. We got such a good build for this. Oh, it's a new model. Yeah, but I, I thought, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's some cases where there's a new actual enemy that keeps the resistances. I, I don't know. All right, a smooth phase one. So now we can start doing our buffs. So really got to go to the leg or something here, dude. Okay, it's done. Yeah, this poise is huge here. So much better. That leg. Oh yeah, range is an issue, but that's why we go for the leg. I canceled the projectiles. Not bad, dude. Not bad so far. Back in. Okay, so that, that attacks a bit more of a problem. Did we just get another frostbite? He just casted another one, I think. It's too bad. Yeah, see, this is what happens. Oh. This is what happens when I'm prepared. This is what I should have done on all the previous runs, but I, I always underestimate him how bad this fight really is. Skull coming in. Probably a good time to use a heal or two. The reason I'm doing more R2s is just because the, the stuns are actually really nice. And we could go to the head here. Get that better build up. I guess I probably should be resetting the frostbite, huh? One of those cases where resetting makes sense. I don't want to get too greedy here. No problem, we came prepared this time. Interesting how he was so delayed there because we stunned him. It only takes four charge R2s to stun him as well, right? Because the torch, 33 poise damage a hit. And they've, the torch actually have a really good R2. This is sort of what I imagine the fist right card kill would look like. You know, this sort of build where you just have so much regen. 
that you just do this to him. Um, yeah, we're just bullying him, dude. Like for four hours. That's funny that you think it would take four hours for that. It would take literally tens of hours at least. Like, I think it would probably take like fucking 20 hours. Okay, I'm against the wall. I guess it's actually good because I can just hit him. I guard countered him? Yeah, literally just no problem. That's how you do it, man. That's how we do it right there. The preparation was worth it. Most of the other builds I've done for Rikard have been way stronger than this. It's just, I've always underestimate him and how bad he's going to be. And, uh, yeah. I want to go with the fire tier here. Or we can go back to our damaging setup. We can go the fire scorpion. Might as well. See how much damage we can pump out on Radagon. Yeah, the Millennia is great rune too. I, I didn't notice it too much there, but I think it was actually doing a lot. But, yeah, we probably stacked up. We probably stacked too much regeneration there for what we actually needed. 1300 isn't so great. Should we just poise break him like crazy though? Oh. Fortunately, that stun didn't happen before his jump. Oh my god, he's already doing this. What the hell? Oh my god. Just absolutely destroyed. Um, we'll probably go... I don't know if it really matters which one I go with here. Just not holy. Probably magic. Yeah, that's not so great. So I don't have power though. Oh, why you swim away like that? You're scared? Torch R2 is also to take very little stamina. It's quite nice. Oh, just poise break all day long, man. Oh boy, how did that fucking hit me, dude? How the fuck did all that happen? Jesus, I almost died to fucking Elden Beast? Just a whole combination of <laughs> just horrible fucking attacks. It's insane. I really think just looping the initial R2 is the best. Is faster than the follow up R2. Oh, it just it's crazy the poise damage here, man. There it is. Easy. The torch god. Yeah, that's a, that's a wrap, man. I don't think so. But yeah, Torch is not good, obviously. But it's it's more satisfying that we didn't get stuck on Rikard for two hours because I actually thought about the build I was going in with. And how many times I died on this run? It wasn't a lot for sure. Let's go kill a death bird just to end it off. And then we'll look at that spreadsheet I was talking about. Respect time. No. I mean, let's just go like 99 faith, dude. I, we might as well. Where I just I, I just want to go see the damage on this death uh death right bird. Wait, so you can because what it used to be is you could buff with the tree spear and then swap to the golden epitaph, but 
guess I can make like a save file here. Yeah, the, the, the one that I, the one that used to work definitely got patched. Like that was the one I tried earlier, but I didn't try like actually offhand buff and then do it this way, but. Oh, the boss did spawn in, but it didn't trigger. Uh, I guess this one. Get weird st staggers. And there it is. Sentry torch OP. <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was pretty nice, dude. I actually did not think that was gonna happen. Not even with a good build either, dude. Like this is just Axe Talisman Ritual Sword. Obviously, we have double buff, but oh, there we go. No problem. I was like, that was probably like a perfect one shot as well, because that boss has around that amount of HP. Okay, um, let me get the spreadsheet up, you guys, that I've been hinting at this whole time. It'd be fun to like go through the ratings with you guys and, and like kind of start from scratch again. But I, I don't really there's like look how many categories there are here.